Let's start with Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Gary, when you're going into a, a critical series like this or critical games, how important do the little things become, the, the extra effort and hustle plays, uh, you know, plays on the glass, uh, things, you know, you've essentially, you know, prided your career on? Uh, it's, it's huge, you know, uh, every every possession. I mean, I think it's just when you're playing a, a caliber team like Milwaukee, you know, just, you know, every little thing matters down to, you know, pressure on the out of bounds, uh, side out of bounds, and just knowing all our assignments. So, you know, it's just, you know, it's come down to like, who studies better, who's more prepared. And, you know, yeah, like you said, I, you know, from the beginning of my career, I've just kind of prided myself on trying to do the little intangible things to, you know, give my team an edge to uh, win. Um, back to Dan Savage. Gary, you, you know, you're a player that knows defense. When you watch Aaron Gordon, what does he bring to the defensively when he's playing, you know, at his at his best uh, on the defensive end? Say it one time, I can't hear you. When when Aaron Gordon is playing at his peak defensively, what is what does he do so well, and what does he bring to you guys on that end of the floor? Uh, his physicality, I think. You know, not many people. You know, you. He looks strong, but like it's a different level when you kind of have to, you know, battle it. You got to stop him offensively when he put his head down and on the defense and you got to run into him. So I think it's just, you know, his presence on both ends, let alone just, is just you know, it's huge for our team, you know, especially on the defensive end because he's his verticality, because athletic, athletic he is, you know, it just brings a different, you know, uh, piece of our back line defense that, you know, you got to worry about. Dan Savage, take it away. Uh, you you guys got, you know, Evan T. Ross back at practice today. How nice was it to see him there? And, you know, in the in the limited, uh, you know, action that you got to see of them, you know, how, how much in rhythm did they look? Of course, you know, T. Ross is a very special human being. So, you know, he went straight from shooting from half court first, uh, first time he touched the ball to, you know, 360 dunks. So, you know, he came right out torching. Uh, straight from uh, first couple of possessions, and then Evan, you know, they both don't look like they lost a step. So you know, you know, Evan's you know very vocal as far as you know getting guys in their spots and you know really explaining things, being that second coach as far as like on the offensive and defensive end of what we're supposed to do when he hear guys like kind of questioning, you know, what exactly he's the guy that steps up and usually says like he asks the question when someone else doesn't want to ask it even though he may understand it. So he's that voice that, you know, you know, a team needs as far as like going into a playoff round like we're going into. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Gary, you know, you, you got a little bit of a taste of the playoffs last year, you know, with Houston. But obviously, you know, you've got a, a bigger role now in Orlando. So sort of, you know, how much more does this playoff experience mean to you, uh, you know, going into this one? Uh, it means a lot, you know, uh, from, you know, last year being like, you know, really the uh, scout team for Houston, you know, being in the atmosphere, you know, going to the second round, I think is uh, pivotal for me in my career to, you know, prove why I can play in moments like the playoffs, you know, you know, guys go their whole career without experience in it at all. And I've been blessed to be able to go into my second year in the league to not only just be in it, but now get a chance to actually you know, play a role. So, you know, it's huge for me personally just to be able to, you know, be an asset for Coach Cliff and the team defensively, you know, being able to be vocal and <clears throat> use my body at all at all costs and be able to bring offensively, you know, spreading the floor. You know, we, we talked about a lot of things with they, things they give up as far as, you know, on their defensive end and just being a huge piece that, you know, can, you know, help, help us win and, you know, make some noise in the uh, first round of the playoffs. Roy, did you have a question, a follow-up? Yeah, I just wanted to, to kind of follow up, Gary. You, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but I was just wanting to know what, you know, what do you feel like you've shown the magic, uh, you know, in your brief time with them, you know, sort of looking ahead, and, you know, where you might end up after this, but sort of what have you shown the magic from your standpoint? Uh, I think my, my versatility, you know, one, but I think the biggest thing is like uh, my ability to adapt and how fast, you know, I really – was playable, you know, from the beginning of my 10 days to, you know, now, 
looking way more comfortable, feeling more comfortable, you know, just being a, a, a you know, a, you know, so were, uh, so many words, a, a class rat as far as, you know, understanding and taking in so much information to be able to just get it like that and, you know, understand what we're doing on both ends of the floor. I think on the court, it just becomes like, you know, my shooting ability, you know, just being able to stretch it outside of, you know, our perimeter guys, just being an extra, you know, uh, tool to be able to knock down shots. So I think, you know, just been, being able to be edu educate myself as fast as possible to be able to help and then defensively being able to, you know, guard multiple positions and offensively being able to just knock down shots. Thanks, Gary. Okay, we have time for one or two more. Um, let's go to David Steele. Gary, uh, where does that come from, the ability to, to be adaptable and be able to, uh, to step right in as you were when you arrived with the Magic? Is that something that you're, you, you feel like you're born with? Did, uh, did it develop through years of, of practice or coaching? Or where does that ability come from, in your opinion? Uh, I, think it, I think it's, it's a little bit natural. You know, just the well, way I grew up of just, you know, trying to learn my surroundings, you know, growing up, you know, um, in the oldest of four, just knowing that I have to learn, you know, my surroundings fast because I have to look out for my younger sisters. And I think when I go to college, you know, Coach Cronin was, you know, very big on emphasizing that, you know, when you go to the next level, they're going to say it once and expect you to know the terminology that they're saying. So just, you know, taking in as much knowledge as I can, I think it's just one of those things that I've like picked up on over the time, over time. And I, I may sound crazy sometimes asking the question, but I'd rather, you know, know 100% certainty that I'm supposed to do this on defense or offense. So, you know, just really driving myself crazy, making sure that I know all the information that I can take in as much as possible. Okay, Gary, thank you so much. We appreciate it.